Thank you so much, JR, again, Fox 44 from Burlington, Vermont. I'm not just here. We have Southern New Hampshire University cheerleaders, a great crowd, even the mascot from the Speedway, Milo. For the fans today, it's going to be a dry day. Don't have to worry about any rain problems. The radar shows that we had rain move through last night. There it goes. Say goodbye. The wind really isn't helping either. We got a 5, 10, maybe sometimes gusting 15 mile an hour wind due north heading south. If you're looking to save a little money today, uh, let's see what I have in my pocket. Uh, 20 bucks, actually, the photographer's money. He might not get this back. Uh, but 20 bucks actually is going to be getting you far today. You're going to need this good old car to get you here uh, and stuffing as many people in here uh, as you can. Flash flood warning. Here's a closer look at it. Route 9N closed in both directions between New York 73 and New York 86 between Keene and Jay. We've got an ice jam ongoing and even some evacuations possible in the village of Jersey in that area. And this is something that we will have to watch out for for the rest of the day today. That The governor of New Hampshire is really urging people at 7 o'clock thereafter get off the roads and don't even go out at all. May I add? This is the Fox 44 kitchen. The sales staff is about to get here in about a half hour, and they're going to they're going to smell the pancakes. Yeah. And wonder I'll what's, be what's, out what's here. for breakfast. Happy Labor Day, 7-Eleven on this Monday morning, a busy one in terms of the radar. Let's get right to it. Three big areas of uh, potentially heavy rain and really some potentially hazardous weather. Let's stop into the St. Lawrence and Champlain Valleys first. We've got some Montreal just seeing the thunderstorm leave the area. So right now we've got some scattered light showers in the immediate forecast right through the next hour. But the brunt of those rumbles of thunder that you hear are leaving. Stretching southward, a very heavy rainfall right along I-89, northern portions. If you're going to be traveling this, watch out for locally heavy rain and maybe a little ponding on the roadways as well. Otherwise, no weather warnings there. Southwestern Vermont, a line of very strong thunderstorms moving to the east at 20 miles an hour is going to be affecting Shaftesbury, North Bennington, Manchester. A lot of Bennington County will track that in terms of timing it out for you in the line in the next weather hit producing more than 100 strikes of lightning in the past 10 minutes alone. Okay, Thornton, Plymouth, New Hampshire, hearing rumbles of thunder, but that's also leaving. A lot of Grafton County getting very heavy rainfall, but luckily that rain is coming to an end in areas that really had the heavy rainfall earlier. Still, we have a flash flood warning issued for eastern Grafton County. As you get just to the north and east of Plymouth, New Hampshire, and to the rest of eastern New Hampshire and a little bit into Maine. Now, that's radar estimated rainfall on the order of one to three inches, which would be enough for some flooding. I don't hear any any ground reports yet with that, but in that area in particular, you want to avoid low lying areas. Rest of New Hampshire, Southern Vermont, a flash flood watch for potentially locally heavy downpours right through tomorrow morning. So we're not done with this beast just yet. Okay, the heaviest of the rain south and east of the Champlain Valley continuing to see that east of the Champlain Valley today. Doesn't mean that Burlington won't get rain. Uh, definitely expecting some rain showers and thunderstorms right through this afternoon and this evening. When can you expect it to end? We're really not until about midnight tonight, the last of the showers ending from west to east. Okay, on and off downpours today mixed with limited sun, muggy and mild. Highs near 75 to 78 for most spots. Uh, stay with me. Michael just mentioned a lot of numbers, but if you were to do uh, all unlimited rides, it's 30 bucks. An adult for 12, you're up to 42, and to park for 5 is 47. Now, if you have some friends, 20 bucks is going to get you far and actually get you some more food today. Let me tell you how. You're going to need this car. Good old car with uh, some more seats than just a, a two-seater convertible or whatnot. It's car load day, so you stuff as many people into this thing as you can safely, though. We're not talking about stuffing a couple of uh, kids in the trunk, uh, some toddlers on the lap. Everybody actually has to be in the car safe and sound, and it's uh, the, the whole key of it is car load day, but it's the legal limit. And the, let me make sure this uh, buckle's working. Okay, pass the uh, inspection test. You have to be buckled in. So that's the thing. As long as you're buckled in, hey, there's actually, you can bring a 12 person van in, and you do the math for that. Oh, let me think. Five bucks a piece. That's not bad. All right. I'm about to embark on my toughest eating challenge yet in Williston, Vermont at Ramunto's, a monster calzone. Let's check out what's in it. Ramunto's biggest calzone is called the Cal Mungo. People usually order this one to share. But not me. The Italian restaurant has offered this eating challenge since 2011, and one of the owners, Jeff Paul, fills me in. Am I in way over my head or what? You're, well, listen, I, I've heard big things about your ability to eat, and uh, you're brilliant with the weather. I will say that the Calmongo is a challenge. And as you've seen here on our wall of shame and wall of fame, 
you're up against something today. The wall of shame is filled with a picture of everyone that has failed this challenge. 126 people and counting. Just three people have finished. The total amount, you're, you're at about five pounds of food here. I have 45 minutes to eat all five pounds of the calzone and marinara sauce on the side. I have to pick three toppings, not including the cheese and ricotta. After careful planning, I choose... Grilled chicken, is it? Yes. The caramelized onions and the mushrooms. Sounds good. All Real right. chicken, carmies, and mushrooms okay. coming right up. Let's After I order, Sean O'Brien walks in the door. He is coming in for his fourth attempt at the Calmungo after failing three times. You just need to really push the first 25 minutes. Don't listen to anybody that says pace yourself because after that, that's when the wall hits. Before we know it, each of our cow mungos are in front of us. We start. The cow zone is very hot and very cheesy, but deliciously easy to eat. Taking Sean's advice, we both set a fast pace. We are about the 10 minute mark, and what I'm impressed at with both ends here is that there still is a lot of calzone left, but the energy level that I see is good. Calmungo, so far so good. 15 minutes in, I don't want to jinx it, but feeling okay so far. Neck and neck, Sean and I finished two thirds of the calzone in 15 minutes. Then I make a bolt for the bathroom. Just the clean, you can do this. Come on, Glazier. Sean keeps his pace, then I slow down. I'm already starting to see number 127. This is where the great ones kind of get over the top. My dinner date keeps going right up until the end. Just a few bites left and he didn't finish. Now we must face our punishment. I realize that now my picture must be taken for the wall of shame. Yep, yep. I'm gonna give you a bigger version of our Fox and ABC you know, and this, and this is what we're going to do for you. I'm going to let you place it on our wall of shame. How's that?